the Joe Rogan experience. The subject of dolphins has been, I mean, it was a, a huge bit on my 2016 Netflix special about an experience that I had when I was in Hawaii, high as fuck on edibles, and we ran into this patch of wild dolphins, and they uh -huh. were playing with us. They were playing with us, and, and we were yelling like, yay, and they would jump out of the water and do flips for you. They were putting on a show, and I remember having this thought like, holy shit, they're playing with us. These are these wild creatures, and they're having fun with us. And then I started doing all this research on dolphins and dolphin communication. I became obsessed with dolphins because of this one – I mean, I had, I had been fascinated by them before, but I became truly obsessed. And this was – this experience was more than 10 years ago. And since then, I've just – I've been overwhelmed and, uh, and also – massively disheartened by just you know by films like yours and by seeing sea world and by seeing what was going on in marine land with my friend phil when i've had him on a bunch of times to talk about his lawsuits i mean they have done everything they can to try to silence that guy and mm -hmm. stop him from revealing all the horrors of that place but slowly but surely he's had a massive impact on that place's business to the point where they're trying to just get him to shut up and he won't he yeah. won't I mean, and he was, I mean, he was on the inside. He was a trainer. And did all that stuff. To, so for me to be able to talk to someone like you, um, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, I love the fact that we can get that out there. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, swimming with dolphins in the wild, I, I, there was a, it, it triggered a memory over in Rangaroa. I was with, with our team and there was three groups of resident dolphins that so they're they're hanging out there all the time you get to recognize them and we were playing with them and the more you play with them the more you can spin around the more you can you know the, the more excited they get yeah and they can only do it for so long and i remember once that we were doing it and we finally uh, we were we had scooters and we thought well the more if so a dolphin looks at you and you can't you look like you're like in a wheelchair <laughs> Not even. Yeah, yeah right, right. Someone in a wheelchair I mean, can get around pretty good. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, in the water, we just look like, yes. you know, we're, we're just pitiful. Yeah. And so they can only be entertained so long. But the scooters, we figured we could engage them a lot longer. And then all of a sudden, this group just took off. And they're sort of like, you're let down because you have this, you're high from the experience of being with them in the wild. And they took off. And we saw that they were, there was about an 18 foot long hammerhead. And they were taking turns ramming it away from us. Wow. Yeah, so it was like not only were they playing with us, they were protecting us. Wow, that must have been wild, though, seeing an 18-foot-long hammerhead. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, because they disappeared into the blue, and then we could see them uh, ramming this thing. The dolphins were big. I mean, they're you know not quite as long as this table, but they're you know they're probably three to 500 pounds, and they're maybe seven feet long, mm. and they look tiny next to this shark. Wow, that's wild. Mm. That is wild. Yeah, Every, occasionally you see, uh, they'll do drone footage off of the coast of Malibu, and you see like a great white swimming around there just a few hundred yards away from surfers. Oh, man, my son does that with drones. He goes out in his kayak and, fo and films them. My friend Peter, Peter Atia, he's, a, uh, he's done a bunch of like crazy endurance things, and one of the things he did, he swam, uh, he swam to all of the islands in Hawaii and uh, w to prepare for this. He had to do a lot of swimming he lives in San Diego and swimming in the coast out there. And he was swimming literally, what, was it, what do you say, like a couple days after that guy got bit in half? Oh, my God. I think so, yeah. yeah, I think it was just he a, wasn't scared. Of, <clears throat> you know, he wasn't scared. Of, I think it might well, have I think been he was a little day, freaked but. out. But it was, it was within a few days of, uh, one of one of the guys who got bit in half down in San Diego. Uh, <laughs> when did this happen? The San Diego incident? <sighs> I want to say it was 10 years ago, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 years ago. And then there was one in Santa Barbara that happened about four years ago, four or five years ago. You know, occasionally they slip up, <laughs> think a person's a seal or something, you know? But most, most of the time when I've been, I mean, I've, I've dove with a lot of uh, sharks before, and it's, the, the, you can only, you usually only get them around you if you're feeding them. Mm -hmm. And that feels so or, horrible. It's just so unnatural. I, I won't do it anymore. But, um, it's weird, right? Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just not. I couldn't be around it. There's some friends of mine that were were feeding it. You know, feed, they're on a feed, and I was I was about, I don't know, maybe 50 yards away, and I, I thought I just don't want to be part of it. And I was just filming on the reef, and these silver tips, 
came over and um, I don't know if they're excited by it. I was had a, a camera with the strobes on it, but they just came in. They were like attacking me and I had a rebreather. I died with a rebreather so you can scream. So I started screaming as loud as I could through this thing, but I was pushing, pushing them off and they were like working together. You could see it was like packed. You know, like one would go this Whoa. way, then one would go this way. So he had to like, I had these these lights with these like octopus with four lights on it, and I could p- push them away. But then uh, one of the the guys that we had brought over a tuna head and lured them away. <laughs> but they were just uh, it was because Hell they were bent. it's because they were excited by you know mm. the, the the feeding over there. So I just yeah. I don't even want to be in the water these days when people are feeding sharks because it's no joke when you're under the water. You're, it's not your it's not like you just run to run up a tree. There's no, no place to go. There's nowhere to go. You feel helpless and that's their natural environment and that's what they're there for. They're there to clean up. Mm. You know, anything that's weak, anything that's fucked up, anything, you know, any seal that get caught slipping. They're they're there for population control. <laughs> I mean, there's a a really powerful video off of the, um, I'm sure you've probably seen it, off of Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco where mm. a bunch of tourists are there. And yeah. Boom, this great white snatches a seal right in front of everybody and a, just a, just thunderous explosion of blood and foam in the water and like, whoa. Yeah, it's a couple miles from where I live. Yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> they're, they're magic. That's a, that's a crazy I'm so, I'm beast. So, I'm supposed to, somebody just invited me today to go out uh, uh and be with great whites not diving just uh just to watch just to watch there's a crazy video from i think it was the cape uh, somewhere around the cape cod where there was like a 20 foot one next to a boat and uh these guys uh were were in this boat and this uh this great white just swims right up next to them and they start fucking screaming and freaking out and it's enormous it's like 20 feet long the only the only time like if you don't feed them they're usually fairly if you if you have, if you're feeding them or if you're spear hunting then they'll come near you. They're but, dangerous for yeah. spear hunters, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. What is this? Record-breaking year for sharks off Cape Cod. Yeah, apparently there's a lot of them out there now. What do you think that is that because of a, a, a large number of marine mammals? Or, or drones. We can actually see them now, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>